Suppose I told you on slow days you could drive for Grubhub or DoorDash and Lyft and Uber and Uber Eats all at the same time without getting mixed up. Interested? Stick with us. I'll show you how to do it. Why, that's it. Look, it's a big W, I tell you. It's a big W. All right, let's try this out. We are just beginning a trip. I have my uh, setup here. You can see that I have Android Auto functioning. I'm using a device called AA Wireless, which is a uh, way to wirelessly communicate with Android Auto. I don't have to have a wire that goes from my phone to the car. I could keep the phone technically in my pocket. Yeah, that doesn't work so well. I mean, it works pretty well, but it drains the battery really quickly in the phone. Let me adjust this camera here. It's wobbling too much. There. It uh, <clears throat> drains the battery in the phone a lot. Now I have a, a, a phone charger here which you can see I can put on, on and off. It's a little electric thing and this is a self-charging uh, wireless station. In other words the phone is charging sitting there. But believe it or not when it's communicating wirelessly with Android Auto in the car then it still drains the battery faster than it's charging. So I also take a wire, which comes from a different USB port, and plug it into the phone to, uh, to make the phone charge at least fast enough that it won't drain all day long. One thing is I can't do these days, I can't do a lot of cruising because gas prices are prohibitively expensive. I'm going to do this long term. I may one day be able to afford making a down payment on an electric vehicle but right now this is what I've got and if I push this button you can see I've got my Android Auto screen right there so what we're gonna do today is a Lyft, Uber and Grubhub okay so here is here is Lyft we're gonna go online with Lyft now I'm going to go over here to Uber and we're going to look at the uh, delivery options for Uber and here you can see I have uh, deliveries and UberX and I can also do shop and pay order, shop at stores or order food then pay and deliver and I could turn that on or off. So I'm going to keep this option off. I don't do it. I will accept some restaurant deliveries because after all I'm doing uh, Grubhub so I might as well do uh, Uber deliveries or Uber Eats. So I have Uber Eats on. I have UberX on. I come over here and to Lyft I have Lyft on. So now we're going to go to Grubhub. And this is the Grubhub screen. Now <clears throat> this is my Grubhub area of uh, service and you can see that there are some hot spots uh, picking up over here and down here. Some of these areas are, are more active for deliveries. So I'm going to click available. So now I've got Grubhub, Lyft, and Uber. And Uber also includes Uber passengers and Uber Eats. I could put the windows down and uh, and turn the engine off, which will be less pleasant than sitting in the air-conditioned car. Because right now it's 91 degrees and it's going to be over 100 degrees later on today. It's getting hot. So I'm just going to take the key out and tuck that away. And now uh, the car is not running at all. This Android Auto will shut off after a minute or two automatically. And I'm just waiting for something to happen on my phone. So what I'm going to do here is 
I'm going to go to Grubhub and go to this screen. If I click that, then I can go offline or online, offline or online with, with Grubhub. Now I am online. I'm going to keep it on that screen because Uber and Lyft are more insistent when, when you have a ride request or an Uber Eats request, it's going to come right to the forefront of the screen and make a big to-do about it and I can, I can select it and get it. If I have one of those other apps like Uber or Lyft running and Grubhub running in the background, Grubhub seems to be a little bit late with their, with their uh, cowbell jingle. Uh, and sometimes because of the cell phone coverage with AT&T is not very good here in Amarillo, Texas. So sometimes I'll come over there and, uh, and accept the order, but it'll be too late and I'll miss the order. So I keep Grubhub in the foreground and I keep Uber and Lyft. There's Lyft and there's Uber running in the background. I just accepted a Lyft ride. I'm driving not a lot of traffic. I'm going offline with Uber now and now I'm going to switch over here to Grubhub and I'm offline with Grubhub. I got to do all this while I'm driving. See this can be dangerous. You got to be able to pay attention to the road. Alright I'm back to Lyft. Lyft wants me to do a U-turn and I will be picking up somebody.